Greetings to you all. My name is Mr. Euchi Tumba. I hope I find you well in all quarters of the world. In this particular tutorial, I am going to lecture on testicular tools I am going to summarize how you do an ultrasound scan that can demonstrate testicular tools In particular, I am going to highlight in real time the sonographic features that you can actually lead you to say this is testicular torsion. So this particular case was from a patient, 13 year old, who had sudden onset of pain early in the morning a week ago. How unfortunately the patient did not seek medical attention in time. He was afraid to tell people about the condition. He was ashamed to tell people about the condition. What is testicular torsion? Testicular torsion is a condition in which the testicles and the spermatic cord can actually twist. When the testicles twist, what essentially means is there is going to be compromisation of blood flow that supplies the testicle. It is fortunate when testicular torsion is partial or when testicular torsion is reported in time. When testicular torsion is, is, is partial, what it means is segments of the testicles can, can still continue to get blood supply. But then, when testicular torsion is complete 360 degree testicular torsion, what it then means is there is no flow to the testicle. When there is no flow to the testicles, it means the testicles are going to die. They undergo a process of infarction. They are no longer receiving oxygen supply and there is no longer replenishment of nutrients to the testicular cells. So this is testicular torsion. So acquired here is a video that demonstrates uh, a, a case of testicular torsion. So let me play the video. Then you can see this is a testicle that was that is somewhat edematous. So you can see there is edema here. There is edema here. So it's an edematous testicle. A demastious testicle is a sign of testicular torsion. When the testicles are tossed, you actually see this mottled appearance. The mottled appearance, that's where you see regions that are hypoechoic. So in acute stages or in early stages of testicular torsion, you expect to see the testicle it swells, then it becomes edematous, demonstrating that mottled appearance. So this is a typical case of a testicle that is undergoing torsion, or it is twisted upon itself and it is compromised blood flow, but it is inconclusive for one to say that there is testicular torsion without Doppler interrogation. You need to verify and be certain that there is no flow to the testicle. So on its own, B-mode imaging is not enough for one to rule out testicular torsion. You can suspect testicular torsion from the history at the same time from the sonographic findings, the testicle is edematous, and then it is got the mottled appearance. But in the chronic stages, then you don't find the same setup because the testicle is died, it undergoes necrosis, it shrinks and it becomes fibrotic. So there's a difference uh, between acute testicular torsion and chronic testicular torsion where the testicle is actually coupled, it's dead. It undergoes 
a complete necrosis. So, the challenge that we have, there is a saying that says, testicle is man or man is testicle because the more you delay the more it dies permanently so within six hours within 24 hours after tw after 24 hours or after six hours you actually damaging the the testicle is as, as you hear as someone gets the pain he needs to get management as quickly as possible so that the torsion can be corrected surgically. Here is another image from the same patient, uh, still demonstrating the same thing. You can actually see the motored appearance that I was talking about. This the motored appearance, and then you can see ill defined um, holes of the testicle here at the tunica albuginia. You can see it's ill defined here. And then here we have got our tunica vaginalis, and then this is the cavity of the tunica vaginalis. But you can actually see that uh, there are components that are actually echogenic. This is dead tissue, is dying tissue. So this is a process of necrosis. So you can see this modeled appearance. They demonstrate infarction. So our testicle is undergoing infarction so when you see something of this nature you can suspect testicular tozon but you cannot be so certain that it is a testicular tozon at this time i'm not going to dwell into the different types of testicular uh, tozon the bell and clapper deformity and whatnot that can actually take place in peas so as i was talking about this is just a duplication of uh testicular infunction so when the cells of the testicle of tissue are no longer receiving oxygen and uh, enough blood supply they undergo the process of infarction so you can see edema so this is a bit of some, some fluid there so this is a process of infarction and then you can see the calcifications or fibrotic changes which are taking place here to see to show that the testicle is undergoing infarction testicular infarcts so when you are actually doing a scan these are the things to look for to rule out testicular torsion swelling testicle the here you have to compare the, the testicle to the chondrolateral side to see if it is swelling so when it is larger than the other it becomes it marshes it demonstrates in acute stages but in the chronic stages are the testicle can actually shrink because of necrosis so we now interrogating the same patient on color doppler so you can actually see we can only see cesare peripheral perfusion here there is no perfusion in the vessel and with this in this with this image you can actually see this uh, necrotic tissue that is taking place to say that the testicle is actually dying so this is a couple testicle it's now useless dying playing again you can actually see the infarcts the infarcts the infarcts and then you can see uh, signs of necrosis Okay, this is just a repetition uh, to, to highlight what I'm trying to talk about. Uh, still on Doppler interrogation, you can actually see the infarcts, the infarcts, the infarcts, and there's no flow. The other type of pathology that can actually mimic uh, testicular torsion without Doppler interrogation is um, ochitis. So when the, the, the testicle is inflamed, you are bound to see a dimashus tissue however the major difference is with ochitis or inflammation of the testicle you see hyper perfusion the blood supply is not cut in fact the perfusion is going to increase when there is an inflammatory process so the inflammatory response you see 
hyper hyperemia or hyper perfusion of the testicle whereas in testicular toe zone you don't see flow so essentially there is nothing that can be done to this testicle to salvage it it's a dead testicle it's a carpal testicle it has to be removed surgically this is a carpal testicle dead testicle nothing can be done to save it the patient delayed to get management so testicle is money money is testicle it's precious if you don't get management timelessly you are bound to have your testicle destroyed forever so this is an example of a dead testicle when you're doing ultrasound scan god duplicated some of the organs that we have so to be sure that what you are seeing is a pathological process not something else that can be normal you have to compare with the contralateral side we do have got two testicles so the affected testicle was the right now we have the left testicle so you can actually try to see or to investigate the the testicle on power and color doppler so here is power doppler so you can actually see perfusion so this peripheral perfusion at the same time there is intra testicular perfusion so you can see this red on power doppler i used power doppler here because power doppler is more sensitive than a color doppler in picking uh, perfusion so you can see these small vessels they are actually perfusing so this is a living testicle you don't see the edematous tissue that we're seeing uh, in the right image this, this is the left testicle again the same is the same image left testicle you can actually see intra testicular perfusion no signs of infunction no signs of necrotic tissue so the the the, the testicle is almost homogeneous so this is the normal echo texture of a test testicle so you must realize that time is testicle time is precious time can actually salvage the testicle because they miss the timelines this testicle is covered this testicle is dead in brief this is all i have to say concerning testicular torsion it's just a brief explanation on how best you can image testicular torsion or identify testicular torsion on ultrasound scan i thank you all get blessed wherever you are stay safe